Did you know that the antibiotic tetracycline can cause tooth discoloration? Let's talk. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to talk about tetracycline and how it relates to not so white teeth. Now, it usually only happens when the medication tetracycline is taken during a specific time in life, anytime from the second trimester of pregnancy to about eight years old. This is because the formative stages of tooth development happen between the second trimester of development up until about age eight. So what happens is the tetracycline binds to calcium ions in the developing teeth. This binding leads leads to the formation of tetracycline calcium orthophosphate complexes. Long story short, it actually causes teeth to appear fluorescent yellow, but exposure to sunlight can change the yellow color to brownish or grayish over time. This is known as tetracycline stained teeth. I had lots of exams and practicals in dental hygiene school needing to accurately recognize this specific staining pattern. Anyway, the level of discoloration depends on factors such as how long you took the meds, the duration of the treatment, dosage, and the specific stage of tooth development during exposure. And because of this, tetracycline is generally no longer prescribed to children under eight years old or during pregnancy due to this risk of permanent tooth discoloration, as well as potential effects on bone development. Today, safer alternatives like amoxicillin or cephalosporins are preferred for treating bacterial infections in these age groups, second trimester to age eight. Tetracycline may still be prescribed for adults, particularly for conditions like acne or certain infections like UTIs, respiratory infections, and more, but it's still used cautiously and typically avoided when other effective treatments are available. This is because staining can also happen with adults. However, it's not permanent staining like with the kids, and it's not internal staining, but instead it's external, so it's easily polished off at the dentist. Now, since I've had multiple requests to make this video, I'm assuming either some of you have experienced this yourself or maybe you know someone who has. So let's talk about how to handle tooth discoloration if you experienced or are experiencing the side effect of tetracycline. And also keep in mind that tetracycline induced tooth stain can be extremely challenging to address since the stains are intrinsic. Again, this is only if the antibiotic was taken during tooth development before age eight. Whereas if you were to take this medication as an adult, like we just said, there are usually either no signs of staining or they will be extrinsic, which means they can easily be removed at your dental office during a teeth cleaning. But for the intrinsic tooth stains from having tetracycline as a child, the following treatment options are available. Number one, professional teeth whitening. In-office procedures using high concentration whitening agents can sometimes lighten tetracycline stains. However, these treatments may require extended durations ranging from several weeks to months, and results can vary based on the severity and depth of the staining. Number two, at-home whitening kits. Dentists may provide custom-fitted trays with professional grade whitening gels for at-home use. This method allows for gradual whitening over time, which can be effective for mild to moderate tetracycline stains. However, for severe staining, usually you wouldn't be a candidate for either types of whitening. For severe discoloration, your best option is oftentimes number three, veneers, or number four, crowns. Veneers are thin shells that are bonded to the front surface of the teeth, masking the discoloration and providing a natural appearance. Veneers are durable and resistant to staining, making them a long-term solution. Whereas crowns are good for cases where teeth are not only discolored, but also structurally compromised. The crowns or caps would fully cover the entirety of the affected teeth, restoring both their appearance and function. I do have a video that explains all the differences between veneers and crowns if you'd like to learn more. I'll link it below, but for the purpose of this video, let's talk about a few recommendations to consider when we're dealing with internal, intrinsic tetracycline staining. Realistic expectations. Like we said, while whitening treatments can improve the appearance of tetracycline stained teeth, whitening may not always be achievable depending on how deep your intrinsic stains are. So that's why a consultation with a dental professional is so important. They will help you determine the most appropriate treatment based on the severity of discoloration and your overall health. Sometimes whitening is an option, but your dentist will let you know if it's not even worth wasting your time trying to whiten. Or maybe the opposite. Maybe you had your mindset on veneers but they will recommend you to try whitening first if they think it could help. On that same note, if you were planning on veneers but have unknown structural damage on your teeth, they can help evaluate if you'd be a better candidate.
candidate for crowns instead. And don't forget about maintenance. Post-treatment care, including good oral hygiene practices and regular dental checkups is of utmost importance when maintaining results and overall dental health. You don't wanna go through all the whitening and or veneers and or crowns, all that treatment just to get cavities or gum disease a year later because you weren't keeping up with your routine dental appointments and home care. So make it a point to stay on top of your teeth at home. Daily routine is key to keeping your dental health in check. And if you are interested in creating the perfect oral care routine for your individual mouth, make sure to click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to sign up for my free oral care guide and discover all of the essentials for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for creating a healthier smile by confirming that you're in fact using proper technique when brushing, flossing, tongue scraping, and more. I always tell my patients that it's great if you've been staying on routine with everything, never skipping days of brushing, never skipping days of flossing, but it's not so great if you're doing it wrong, right? If you're flossing incorrectly or using the incorrect motions with your manual or electric toothbrush, that's no good. So check out my free oral care guide below if you'd like to learn more. In conclusion, while tetracycline the antibiotic is effective in treating various bacterial infections, its side effects, particularly tooth discoloration, can have lasting impacts. Fortunately, it's usually no longer prescribed for those under the age of eight, but if for some reason it couldn't be avoided, advancements in cosmetic dentistry offer multiple ways to address and improve the appearance of tetracycline stained teeth, such as professional whitening, veneers, and crowns. All of these can enhance both aesthetics and self-confidence. Oh, and one more thing before we go. If you're interested, beyond dental discoloration, tetracycline can also cause several other side effects, such as gastrointestinal issues. Those are self-explanatory. Photosensitivity, increased sensitivity to sunlight, leading to a higher risk of sunburn. Esophageal irritation, especially if the medication is taken without adequate water or just before lying down, and potential effects on bone growth. Like tooth discoloration, this one is only for children under eight. Overall, medical guidelines have adapted to ensure patient safety, and again, prescribing practices have since changed and will continue to change as we learn more about the long-term effects of certain drugs like tetracycline. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.